It's recording. Grammatical explanation. I don't know. Should I do it with my jacket on or not? Okay, have a look at this sentence. He's a man. It's recording. He's a man. He's a man. Mm, daughter. Daughter I love. He's a man. Mm, daughter I love. What is the best uh, relative pronoun here? Whose. What is the function of whose? You know, it's written in the previous exercise. What is the function of whose? To add information about someone's possessions, about somebody's possessions. Well, in this case, would you say, would you say that the daughter is the possession of the man? <laughs> I would say possessions or relatives. Yeah, possessions or relatives, members of your family. Yeah, relatives, members of your family. Okay, I'm going to give you another one. May I? Yeah. Another one. Complete this sentence for me. At AOE, yeah, at AOE or official school of languages, uh, there is an evaluation system. There is an evaluation system. <coughs> Students progress. Progress is uh, followed or checked. At AOE, there is an evaluation system. Mm -mm. Students' progress is checked. Whereby. Whereby, yeah? Whereby. What is the function of whereby? Come on, you got it. To add info? About a method. Yeah, in this case, the method is the evaluation system, yeah? About a method, yeah? Yeah, about a method. And this is formal, yeah? Formal language. Can I? Really? Thank you. Now, I'm going to give you two sentences. The girl, that's the girl. The girl, the girl, the girl. The girl, the girl, mm, I asked out. La pedí salir, o oh, le pedí salir. I don't know, I'm la ista. La pedí salir, le pedí salir, whatever, yeah? Le pedí salir, la pedí salir. I think it's le pedí salir, yeah? Uh, the girl, mm, I asked out. To ask somebody out. Pedir salir. Ask out. Or... Another sentence, the girl mm, asked me out, me pidió salir, the girl mm, asked me out. Okay, uh, now we have a dilemma here, who or whom, have a look at this video for a moment. Joe is going to teach us. And it doesn't matter who came on the hoop. That's right. Oh, sorry. One more time. You know, uh, it's, it's not important. <laughs> What's important is that, is that we're having a baby. And it's not, it doesn't matter who came on the hoop. Boom. <laughs> That's right. Joey is right. It's whom? <laughs> one more time. One more time. Hey baby, and it's not, it doesn't matter who came on the who. Whom? <laughs> That's right. Uh, Joey is very, very, very um, clever this time. So it doesn't matter who came on to whom. Who came on to whom? 
¿Quién le entró a quién? It doesn't matter. Yeah? We're having a baby. It doesn't matter who came on to who. And then you always said, who came on to whom? Correction. Yeah? The girl mm, I asked out. The girl mm, asked me out. In the first one, would you say who or whom? Who. Sorry? Who. Can you spell it? <laughs> with an M or without an M at the end? Without? Without? Are... without. With or without? without? The girl whom I asked out. And the girl who asked me out. Why do I use whom here? And why do I use who here? I'm going to give you another example. All right, the girl, the girl, the guy. Okay, the guy. Let's talk. Let's do an example with a guy. Yeah. The guy. The guy. El tío. The guy mm, <coughs> drove me home. He gave me a lift. Yeah. He took me in his car. The guy who drove me home. The guy. Mm, I drove home. I took her, took him in my car. I gave him a, le a lift. So what would you say? In which one do you need to say whom? In which one do you need to say who? The guy, mm, I, who, sorry, who or whom drove me home? Who? With or without M? Without. Very good. The guy who drove me home. And the guy? Whom I drove home. Now, why? One per person, please, explain why sometimes we say who, sometimes we say whom. George. Uh, the who without M can be uh, by that. Uh-huh. The girl that asked me out. Uh, the guy that drove me home. I agree with you. This one can be substituted by that. Can this one? The girl that I asked out? Maybe it can also work. The guy that I drove home? Maybe it could also work. Any other explanations? Uh, Andrea? Who's talking? I cannot see mouths moving. Yeah. <laughs> or, Andrea, what are you talking to? Yeah. So let's say Andrea, then Nerea, and then uh, Coral. Maybe because in who, uh, the subject is the person. I don't know how to say it. Like, you are saying something about the person. And the second one is like, you are doing something for the person. You are on the right track. Continue. You are on the right track, Andrea. Continue, Andrea. Um, I believe if you use who without M, uh, you refer to the, the subject that is before the pronoun. But if you use who without, without with M, yes, you refer to the other <laughs> side of the the I agree with you. I agree with you. Okay, they are right. Coral, anything to add? You were going to say the same. Okay, uh, they are right. That is the difficult explanation. I'm going to give you the easy explanation. You know the super easy explanation? Do you know what it is? The girl whom I asked out a la cual the girl who asked me out Okay. <laughs> like, like the guy from the videos. <laughs> What's his name? Uh, no, no. Anthony. The easy guy. I don't know. <laughs> the, Joey. 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 Yeah. Really? Not the same Joey as from Friends. Ah, no, no. Anyway. Yeah. Whom? A la cual. Who? Okay. 
No more mystery. Yeah, you, that is the magic trick. The guy who drove me home. Translation in Spanish? Okay. The guy whom I drove home. Al cual o al, al que. Yeah? You need this. Al, al. You see the difference? Do you? That's very easy, yeah? Al, al. O ala. Yeah? All right. Yeah, I think that's the, that's the trick. We don't need to complicate it more, yeah? Okay. I will complicate it more. Should I? Do you want some complications? I get hot, you know, if I, <laughs> if I need to explain. Okay, it's the thing they said about the object, okay? I have it right here. I asked her out. I drove him home. It's the object, okay? So, this one. The girl... No, this one. One. The girl whom I asked out. I asked her out. This is the sentence, yeah? I asked her out. Subject, verb, object. Okay, this is a pronoun, a personal pronoun, functioning as an object. Because here is the object, you need whom. But in order not to complicate it, a la cual, yeah? A la cual, yeah? That would be much easier. So far, so good? Okay, now, let me raise this. One final piece of explanation before we finish for today. Okay, have a look at this. The key with which I open the door. And the key which the key which I opened the door with. Okay, have a look at this. With which? What is with? Preposition. What is which? Relative pronoun. Have a look at this. Which? Relative pronoun. What is the preposition? The end. Oh, yeah, it's here. It's at the end. Preposition. Are they both correct? Is there one which is incorrect? Huh? Both are correct. What is the difference? When you say with which preposition and then relative pronoun, how, what would you say the sentence is? A formal one or an informal one? Formal. This is very formal. Yeah? Formal, and then I would say less formal, yeah? Less formal, like the people outside, they are less formal, you know? Having a drink and having a laugh, less formal. May I? Okay, some other examples, and this is it, yeah? Take it easy, it will be done in a minute. The woman, whew, the woman with whom? The woman with whom, with whom I got married. Another example, the man to whom I gave the dogs. The man to whom I gave the dogs. Another one, uh, the man in whom I have faith. The man in whom I have faith. And uh, the man for whom the job was done. The man for whom the job was done. Okay, have a look at this. With whom, to whom, in whom, for whom. In all of them we have preposition and relative pronoun. I hate these people. <laughs> Again, preposition and relative pronoun. Seems like they do it on purpose. Preposition and relative pronoun. Preposition 
and relative pronoun. All these sentences are formal, very formal. When you have preposition and relative pronoun, they are very formal. With whom? Con el cual. To whom? Al cual. In whom? En el cual. For whom? Para el cual. How can we make it uh, less formal? The first one. Yes, Elena, give it to us. Who or whom? Just let's say, let's say. Okay, I think only who is okay because we have the preposition at the end. Without the preposition, yeah, perhaps we would need the whom thing. But now, because there is no preposition, we can just say the woman who <coughs> I got married. With, because you have the preposition here, you don't need whom, yeah? Who, with, who, with. This is color blue, yeah? Less formal. Who, with. The man to whom I gave the dogs. One volunteer. Apart from Irene. Okay, Irene, give it to us again. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> Laura, give it to us. Very good. Two. Who? Two. Yeah? Okay. Um, yeah. But you can use whom, no? The, the man whom I gave the dogs to. The man whom I gave the dogs to. When you say, when you use whom, the preposition works better before. Yeah? Before. If you say whom to, it sounds weird. Whom to sounds weird. I would say to whom or who to, okay? If you say whom to, sounds weird to me. It sounds a little bit forced, yeah? Who to, who to, who with? Uh, George, give this one to us uh, in an informal way. The man who I have saved him. Okay, I don't need to write the whole thing. Antonio. Very good. So, formal, less formal. Formal, less formal. Formal, less formal. Formal, less formal. That is the end of the grammatical explanation for today. I'm going to give you a little bit of homework.